Hello, my name is Craig Seibert, and this short web seminar is How the Declaration of Independence and U.S. Constitution Work Together. First, let's begin with some definitions. A charter is a document issued by a sovereign legislature or other authority defining its privileges, principles, beliefs, and purposes. Bylaws, on the other hand, are the rules adopted by an organization chiefly for the government of its members and the regulation of its affairs. And we see this in business today and that these two sets of documents work together. A charter tells why a company goes into business, and then the bylaws are how a company will organize and govern itself. Similarly, when the Declaration of Independence and then the Constitution were written, the Declaration of Independence serves as the charter or purpose document for the United States of America, and the U.S. Constitution serves as the bylaws or the organizational document for the United States. And these two documents are designed to work together. In fact, the Constitution serves the principles and the Declaration. That is, that the Constitution doesn't replace anything uh, that's in the Declaration at all, and any animating principles, beliefs, and uh, core philosophies that are in the Declaration, the Constitution is designed to serve. So let's take a look at what we're speaking about here specifically in an overview fashion. In the de Declaration, we have these very famous words. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And so here in the Declaration we have a statement of core principles, beliefs, and universal and eternal truths uh, of the rights of man and how those uh, rights are given and granted not by governments but by God. The Constitution then in turn serves that role uh, as organizational document and has this statement in the beginning. We the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, to establish justice, to ensure domestic tranquility, to provide for common defense, to promote the general welfare, and to secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, to ordain and establish this Constitution. And so this opening statement is a statement of six core purposes of the Constitution and how the country will organize itself. The Constitution then goes further and delineates the three branches of government for the United States of America, that is the Congress, the President, and the Supreme Court. So this quick lesson really is eye-opening when you consider that the Declaration is the purpose document and the Constitution is the organizational document for the United States. And as we've said, it serves the Declaration. So we need to ask people if they know how the Declaration of Independence and Constitution work together so that we might have an informed conversation with people uh, that are debating the direction of the country and how we should govern ourselves. It's safe to say that you have a better understanding of the U.S. Constitution and Declaration than 90 percent of Americans just by understanding this one concept of how they work together. Watch the other web seminars now on these important documents of freedom on the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. As we conclude, there are some additional resources you may want to take advantage of after watching the YouTube videos on this playlist. For more freedom videos, check out July4thFreedom.com. For tools on growing in your faith, check out the 21dayfaithexperiment.org. For complete worldview training that integrates faith and life, check out biblicalworldviewtraining.org. And then finally, to team up with other young professionals that are making a difference in the world, check out PriorityAssociates.org. My name is Craig Seibert. Thank you for listening.